what is quacking guys today we're gonna be playing some spear and fair which i did stream on twitch if you want to go watch that i'll link it in the description but other than that the game it was very fun it's about a girl that goes around on a boat and picks up her family members that are ghosts and are dying or i guess are dead and uh you pretty much take care of them build your boat up and have adventures with them it is a very cute game so stay tuned and watch the full video there we go oh is that a cat or a dog some mystical dog or cat ah finally what do i click what, what i'll enter okay i thought for a second you would never wake up little one how ironic that would have been wouldn't it not is this the reaper I'm Char Charon, the Spirit Fairer. So far, this is pretty cool. I like the animated look to it. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. Cannot say that I'm sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you've brought a friend here with you. What is his name? Can I name him? Aw, oh, Daffodil. That's cute. I see. You two will share the burden, then. And take it over for... As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world, and that is why you are here. You'll be here, new spirit fair. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and they are ready. Bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You'll have to help them fulfill their last request and be at their service until their last breath. Hmm. The big round bridge over there is the ever door. The alpha where everything starts, the omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. I wish I could have made my own name. <laughs> he looks kind of like me. He's got orange hair, but he's like tan. Here, this is something I need to give you. What is he going to give me? What is that? Ooh, I got a ball of light. Now be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of our status here and the only tool you'll ever need. Wait, what are you? Wait, where'd the cat just go? Oh, she. Oh, how highly inappropriate. Did he just grab a bone or something? <laughs> well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Okay. So we're gathering dead people. Hmm. That's weird, but pretty interesting. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate lost her souls, rest on your <laughs> Jesus Christ, how much tax? How much more? <laughs> Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. 
accustomed to these new oh god damn I can't read there's so many fucking words Ooh. you are the new sparing for after all oh one last thing once I am gone you will have to find a ship of your own mine is not suited for you and it will be it will fade away once I'm gone okay so we have to find our own boat I wonder if we get to pick you might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time probably it's time here I go bye bye so long Stella and good luck you will need it so am I gonna be the grim reaper Jesus Christ I don't know if I could take on this power holy fuck is that it's like a black hole okay I guess off we go now Ooh, the Everlight turned into a paddle off we go with our cat that literally stole something from the from the dude okay Did our boat just sink? Oh god. Press space to jump. Hold space to jump higher. Okay. Parkour! Oh, Jesus. Oh, hey, look, there's something creepy up there. Let's go talk to it. Sounds like a great idea. Oh my god, I suck. Why? Why? Yeah. Jesus. Why? Why? Come on here. What? Why is it not letting me get up here? It won't let me jump. Is that... That's weird. Hang on, what does it say? Oh, W. Well, jumping to climb through the platform. Oh. Okay, I'm stupid. I just didn't... Alright, maybe I should, you know, read. Stella, is it really... It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Ah, it might not be that obvious after all. It's me. Gwen. Good thing you found me. But if you're here, it means, oh, you are the new spirit fairer. You are the one replacing Charon. I assume that's how you say his name. I'm not actually sure about that. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardine, sardines and cigarettes. Ew. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see if an Everlight now. Of course. See that boat over there? <gasps> Damn, that boat is huge. That is a massive boat. That's the one. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work, since you're the spear of her. Is that a there's one like right above us. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. What? what? Oh, okay, that was. I assume that was just her shadow. That was weird. <gasps> Can I ring the bell? <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Ah, uh, that's cool. Woo! Okay, here it goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Oh, she's like a. Oh god, is this like oh this is a game for fair furries. Oh shit. That's pretty cool though, I guess. I'm not the one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. As you're the spear for welcome. 
Gray Spirits as your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Well, that's my theory anyway. What are you looking at? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> it's smoking a fucking cigarette. Oh, I didn't even notice that. You need to come here and give me a hug. I guess you're a deer now. This is creepy. I, I guess I'll hug you. Hey, thank you for the follow. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Oh, yeah, did I? Shit, I'm going to put my chat as follow only and... Ah, uh, that's probably not good. I don't know if I put it to where you had to have a time limit or not. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. I think that's how you say that. God, I don't know. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Very vital impossibility to get rid of anything. Stop using big words, game. I'm not that smart. <laughs> At any rate, we should do something about this. Or my dust allergies will be back. You're a deer now. How the hell are you gonna get dust allergies? Oh, I'm so confused. Let me think. This is the only way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. He's your local shipwright. Okay. And his strokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix your boat. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. Yes, I am wondering, because, like,. The ship is fucking huge, and it's going to be filled with furries, I guess. Because, like, she just went from, like, a creepy-looking ghost to a f huge deer smoking a cigarette. It, <laughs> it's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock the cabin in the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning on escaping, remember? And you know me. I plan things particular. Oh, God. So she's trying to escape the Reaper, dude. Oh, okay. Go open that cabin, Stella. Oh, my God, there's so much. I like having storyline, but, like, Jesus Christ. I have, like, I've read so much. All right, sweet. What is this? Um, okay, that's the map. Hmm, that's pretty cool. All right, is that a shark? Oh, that's gonna be cool as shit. Got something, what is this? Big, please. Oh, it's another one, okay. Here we are, let's go. Albert Shipyard Discovered. That looks like a lot of sunken ships. <laughs> it doesn't look like he knows how to very much fix things. If they're all broken in the ocean. It's not even an ocean, it looks like ice back there. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this cult. Clutter. Curious about what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. All right, let's go check out that. Wait, oh, what? How do we get over there? Oh, we gotta take a boat. I guess. Let's go. Why don't we just park at the top? What? what? But is that my boat? Wait, what? Okay, I'm so confused. Why, why, why is the, why did I have to get in the water if the boat's already next to the dock? Ah, oh, I'm so confused. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are customers' best friend. I'm Albert. I'm trying to make a voice for everybody, guys. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. It looks like you're not doing a very good job. I see sunken, sunken boats every fucking where. 
Jesus, you're horrible. Been in the business for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fair? Yes, I am. Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start his this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha! Let me see what we have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. She, Sharon, was unhappy about this glummy and dank dank art. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. <laughs> but the customer is always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry. You can keep this one. Let's just call it a, let's say a loan. Um, Albert, I'm sorry to tell you, man, but I'm not paying you back. And let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working. <laughs> this guy is horrible. <laughs> what is this? Whoa. We had some frame drops apparently. Sorry, I'll just check it. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be... Again, the first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day, I'm feeling generous. I'll offer one free of charge. Mind, it's just a bit of bare bones in terms of functionality, but the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price. You'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to an to upgrade this shop. It's about to come to you to upgrade it. Upgrade. Free of charge. Sweet. Alright. What is that going to cost? Oh, okay. So we'll come to him for every upgrade. For everything, I assume. Looks like. Hmm. Okay. There you go. All right, let's get back on the ship. Wait. Can I not just... Oh, okay. i to talk to you again. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. All right, well, we'll come right back, my dude. Oh, that cat's so freaking cute. All right, let's go to the boat. Finally. All right. I guess we'll talk to you. Good. Albert gave it to you for free. And he said he loaned the ship to you. <laughs> Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand. For now, cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any buildings and get it. Okay, yep. This so far as like a tutorial. Like, oh wait, my. Does that mean I need to go up here? I don't know how ships work. Um, that thing up there. Okay. I'm assuming this is the blueprint table. Okay, it is. All right. Edit. Wait. Uh, what? Oh. Okay. Salvage. Salvage. Yes. There we go. Got a bunch of stuff. Wonderful. The boat doesn't look like shit no more. It looks fantastical. Yes, yes, yes. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. And necessary amenity. Welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, 
sleep. Not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in here. Mm -hmm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. She just told me to have fun, build your own shit. Uh, build your own fucking house, dude. Your woman, whatever you are. Jeez. Um. Uh. I want to build a guest house. Right there. She's going to it. Let's see if she likes it. What is she going to say? Let's see. Can I go inside? Oh, this is nice, actually. Very nice. You like? This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work, as usual. Now at least I have a place to sit down and enjoy the new view. Or the, the view. Jeez, I add words to it. I think I'm dyslexic. Oh, God. He's all... Oh, it's playing with the spirit thing. That cat. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, uh, respect to this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am? But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on this fish, but I never <laughs> You're really gonna pick on the food? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you like this? Uh, this one's picky. Abs she can smoke cigarettes, but she can't eat a whole fish. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there, as well as in this area. So, damn, you're require you require bright mm -hmm. jelly and there's only one way to get some mm -hmm. look i should have told you when i first met you here something scares the hell out of me mm -hmm. a dark presence and i have even i've cower from it a void that swallows all light included it can take many forms and for me it always jesus christ mm -hmm. i gotta catch a jellyfish Yes, I'm fully aware of this irony. Uh, the, the bride jelly you need for the kitchen will... Only jellyfish can provide you. Alright, she's gonna take what she get. It's a boot. It's a boot in the water. Most, most teen cove? I don't know how to say that. Not gonna lie. Some... Oh, wait. Shit. I'm supposed to talk to you. No. <laughs> I should have talked to the deer. Oh, wait. No, we're good. We are good. What is this? Medium plum bottle? Okay. We got that. Here we go. <gasps> the cat. Jesus. Congratulations, for you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Joke aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Thank God. She is so demanding. That's kind of neat, though. The way I'm cutting these trees down. Oh, the cat fell in. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, shit. Let's try that again. 
Try it again. We're good. Alright, so we got eight limestone from that. Let's check over here. Probably not the right. Nope. Okay, sweet. Oh crap. <laughs> Good to go back to the boat in just the time we are going to have to probably wait till a little daytime to build. Alright, come on. Off we go. Alright, build. She said the field. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, I don't necessarily like it like that, but I guess. Yeah, we'll do it like that. There we go. Ah, field. Yeah, I built that myself. You're welcome. Ah, it's better looking than I thought. There's a little engine. Oh, I don't even know what the fuck that even says. Simple but elegant. Oh. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only. Okay. Thank you for the tips, but I think I can take it from here. All right. It even has a bell up there. Okay. So I, I can wake her up and give her that corn. <laughs> we got popcorn. Ah, I thought it was going to be like cooked corn, but I guess. Um, let's give her some popcorn, I guess. Oh, thank you, Stella. I love comfort mm. food so damn much. <laughs> I knew you were going to love the popcorn. She loved it. <sighs> That's why I made the popcorn. Oh, okay. Hummingbird. Discovered. Oh, man. I'm liking this game. We're an hour into the game, and I'm probably going to play this again. Uh, bang. Oh, hey, look, there's another soul that we can get. Yeah, I, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Glare if you take the heavy weapon efficiency. Oh god, there's so much... I have no idea what she's talking about. Okay, sweet. What is this? Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objectives in this world, one... I've heard this... I can't speak. Hang on. Okay, ready. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance... It relates abilities. The two slots on it needs to be filled. Um, I'm fairly certain you could use bulls to activate it. But to get a bulls, you need to welcome the spirits on your tree. Alright, so. Does it matter which ones? 
Yes. Oh, I thought you had something to say. I did have something to say. I'm sorry. I'm a bit of a rush. Apparently, he doesn't want to come, so I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you again. I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit her needs. A garden, maybe a pool. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it will help me say oh. uh, I might stumble on the rares find. You can live on my boat. That'd be cool. Oh. I'm going home. Don't follow me. Please. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell oh. people, listen. I just don't want to drunk me off. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing Humberg since forever. You've got the glimpse, I've got the goods. I've got all the wares to make you spend on our glimpse. Step right up. What do you got? 500,000 for the door that opens to the neck. Uh, we don't have that kind of money. Oh, Jesus, everything is expensive as a shit. Alright. Well, uh, we, um, we, we, you know, we can't buy anything there. We're, we're broke. I won't let him get away with this. Error to see my alerty at this merchant. Good. Let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here. And it should be a same. What? Did you hear that sound? That was a Minecraft sheep! What the fuck? And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash people. People of you are the reason why we have middle fingers. What? Madam, what's the meaning of this? My friend here is the new Sparefair, but she's not a newbie. Neither am I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But I... I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Be warned, your treacherous stripe weasel. I will tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans. No more double crosses. Just fair prices. I, I, so stop being dishonest at once. And next time I'll see you and I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Got it? But, yes. Yes, of course. I promise you I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Yes! Hey, you. Yes, you! Your friend really gave me that greedy merchant some hell. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not going to lie, it's pretty cool up here being up here I don't think it is yeah all the best people are up here don't get too excited though somebody had broke the ladder you'd have to be able to jump and humanly high to make it this choir gimme give gimme give gimme give gimme give yeah look at that Job. You made it. Wicked moves getting up here. I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here. But you're here, so it might get better. I don't have any membership card for you. You'll be an IRA member of the upstairs crew. Woo! I'm the upstairs crew. Hell yeah. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. Yeah, COVID, so yeah. 
fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there at the sea? You came to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going then. We have some lessons to go through. All this open space. Yes, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me. I'm flowering up and right. Is she going to turn into a flower? Snakes! <laughs> I hate snakes. Well, I don't hate them. But... Oh, getting out of this careless with a feeling. Thank you, Stella. 